Good evening, good evening. I'm Oscar Wilde and welcome to Where the Wild Things Are. <laughs> the talk show where we meet the main characters in literary classics. In this episode, we are meeting the one and only Dorian Gray. From the picture of Dorian Gray. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, darlings. Hello, good man. How are you? Never been better. Come, take a seat. So, I hear that you're back from your book tour and... Yes, yes, about a century ago. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Time flies when you're dead. Don't I know it. Speaking of death and life in general, your life as depicted in the novel The Picture of Dorian Gray is very interesting regarding its prominent themes. Yes, yes, yes. First, for the audience, do you want to elaborate on what themes are? Yes, of course. A theme is essentially the abstract idea or ideas in a piece of literature. They are mainly an idea that the writer, such as yourself, writes recurringly throughout the text a universal idea, message, or lesson that can be applied to the broader human experience. Yes, yes, exactly. Now, I wrote your story, is that correct? Very much so. <laughs> and I chose to convey some themes for a special purpose. Yes, I am aware. Like the theme of beauty, for example. There must be a reason you made me so obsessed with my face, and Sybil's acting, and Basil's painting. A lot of things that were beautiful. <laughs> right, so there are lots of ways a theme can be expressed. Visually with an object, or a character's action, or even an event that takes place any time in the story. Multiple themes can be expressed this way. Yes, the whole novel deals with the way things are and aren't beautiful. It is quite a prominent theme. When beautiful people do ugly things, it becomes morally right somehow. It makes you think of what is and isn't right or wrong. Ah, now you're talking about the theme of morality. Precisely my point. Bingo. Morality is peppered throughout the novel, I think. Expressed through things that I and the other characters do. So, let's ask the question again. Do you agree that when beautiful people do ugly things, then they become morally right? Well, I was beautiful, but I killed my best friend and drove a promising young woman to kill herself. I gambled and drank and wasted my life away and was never caught. The things I've done. Oh my. Don't sound so surprised. You wrote me. <laughs> <laughs> so that covers the major themes of the novel. Of course, we don't have time to go into it too much today. But there are a few minor themes as well, no? Yes, like aestheticism, sexuality. <laughs> it is worth noting that although theme is sometimes used to indicate the subject of a work, it is often used to identify the central idea or thesis through a statement. For example, you may say that the theme of James Joyce's story Araby is that an innocent idealist is doomed to disillusionment. Um, yes. Well, maybe we can have a little chat backstage. <laughs> That's all we have time for today. Give it up for Dorian Gray, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>